Hey guys, I'm Ben Thomas here. Uh, quick video I wanted to talk, discuss about what's happened in Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> First and Howl the Third. Um, but basically, um, what happened is uh, we have all these illegal people. I'm not going to call them immigrants, they're illegal. They Ill illegally walk their butts across the border. They're not supposed to be here. What do you call somebody who's not supposed to be here? They're illegal. They ain't not going to come to your house. They're going to come to my house. and <laughs> They're going to be called out. But anyway, they come across the border. Joe Biden, your boy, and also Kamala Harris, your girl, you voted for these people. And you let all these people come on. Come on in. They say, well, the, the border's secure. Yes, it sure is secure. Secure. We got four million people walk across the border. We got all these situations going on down down in southern Texas. My heart goes out to those people in Texas and Florida and Arizona because they because it's a mess. <laughs> this is it's total chaos. Uh, and they're gonna try to flip to oh oh uh, Donald Trump. Uh, the border was secure. <laughs> okay, so he so it wasn't secure. So we're gonna put your definition of secure is, and your definition is definitely not good because you got problem happened up in Martha's Vineyard. So, Governor DeSantis, thank God for him, he said, okay, all right, we're going to send these people up to Martha's Vineyard, okay, where the, where the rich people live at, okay. I live in the hood. Ain't no rich people around here. All I see is strife, okay, but the rich people, and the majority of them are white people, okay. They gonna get on their high horse. Uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, LGBTQ, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, the social justice, all this. Yes, um, they and we got tape of them saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, we gonna we gonna we support indigenous people. We support immigrants. It's gonna be a sanctuary city and sanctuary state." <laughs> we got we got them. We got on the internet. <laughs> so all that stuff is there. We got evidence saying that you got these people. Texas, Florida said, we don't need these people. So we're going to move these people to somewhere because they said it in their words. They want these people. Mayor D.C. said this. Mayor of, of, uh, of Chicago said, we want these people. And um, Gavin Newsom, <laughs> the fool um, governor up in California, said, we want these people. Okay, all right, they're yours. And we're going to ship them to you. So... We just so they said, well, Martha's Vineyard. They said, well, we, we want all these people. We bring them up here. Yeah, yeah, they are people. Yeah, come on up here. So Dan just, so said, said, okay, I'm going to give you what you want. And I'm glad he did. He dropped their asses. <laughs> and they said, uh oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we can't deal with this. How do you think the people down in Texas and Florida and Arizona deal with these people? They get, they get. 2,000 people come in a day, and you're only dealing with 50 people. <laughs> Your hair's flying out. You're like, oh, my God. 24 hours, their asses will bounce. They bounce their asses right on out the island. <laughs> they got bounced so fast, I thought I was watching the episode of Survivor. <laughs> Your ass is out of here. <laughs> Start talking about the total hypocrisy for you people. I'm serious. That's just bad. And um, and I'm going to call out the people and Martha's Vineyard, and I'm going to call out Barack Obama. Yes, that fool right there. He's the he's supposed to be a, a man of the people. Ha! <laughs> okay, real man of the people. Okay, you got a thirty million dollar, uh, twenty room uh, mansion up there on the on the water. Okay, talking about global warming, but you're right on the beach. Okay. That shows me how much you care about your global warming. As long as there no <laughs> immigrants hanging around there, you got you got you got walls behind you, so you got your own wall. But <laughs> oh my God! So I'm totally 100% advocate of what of what the Santas did, and I hope he sends more to the to the bots because if you're gonna send up some hypocrisy bull crap, then you should live with it you can't do that if 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 you guys voted for the policy you voted for 
for um, for Biden and his policies. That means you put up with this bull crap. So if you put up with the bull crap, then you get the results of your bull crap. You just can't be selective. Oh, we can. Be, we're, 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 oh yeah, we we we're, we're going to uh, be supportive as long as you stay over there in the corner, around the corner there, but don't come up in here. <laughs> Even though we love you, yeah, you, I, we love you, but you got to be over there. You got to take your ass over there because we got no room over here. How you think the people down there in Texas are dealing with this crap? So, so I'm calling you out. I'm calling up Barack Obama. I'm calling out all you rich white people. That's exactly right. I'm calling, calling a spade a spade. You rich white mother motherfuckers or whatever, <laughs> because you guys are not right. Okay, it's not right. <laughs> and it, it, it's just exactly what Malcolm X said white liberals are discouraged for black people or for people of color believe me if you're a liberal and if you're, if you're a Caucasian you guys don't help people at all just help yourself so that's all I got to say I hate to be political but I'm just going to call them out I say you know that's that's what it is so Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I, I just wanted to rant about this. I was watching uh, my boy Rage Harlick, and he had a, he had a great um, rage about this, and I just said I'm going to do it too. So check out Rage Harlick. Okay, all right, guys, peace. I'm out.